you ever have one of those situations that just catches you off guard but transforms your mindset in a new way that you never thought possible? Uh, that was what happened for me this past Sunday. I was seated right here after our morning prayer time, getting ready to, to go and, and prepare for the, uh, the morning services when a little girl made her way into the sanctuary to come and see me. Apparently, she had been wanting to see me all week and, and missed me on Wednesday night at our core group. But the moment that she was dropped off at the church, she asked where I was and made a beeline to the sanctuary to ask me a question. As you know, we have been praying and partnering with Hope Center Ministries to start a, a drug and alcohol rehab center right here in the city of Temple. And thanks be to God, two months ago in December, we were able to open that center and currently have 13 residents in which God is transforming lives and making a significant impact. Well, this young girl and her family, her siblings, have, have heard the, the testimonies, the prayers, and, and the celebrations of God working through this ministry over the last year and a half. And so she came with this question. She said, Pastor Darren, if my daddy came to this church, would he be able to go to the Hope Center? I shared with her that absolutely we would love to have her dad be a part of, of that ministry and we would be praying that, that maybe God would open the doors for, for him to, to be a part of that ministry. And then she reached into her pocket and, and she pulled out this little bracelet. Obviously it was a, a prized treasure of hers and, and, and she said, I, I want to I give this to you. I want you to take this and, and take the money from this and, and give it to our Hope Center. I hugged her and we prayed and we prayed for her dad. And then I went back to my office to prepare for the morning. But I didn't do much preparing. I, I really just kind of sat there and clutched this bracelet and, and prayed for this little girl and prayed for her family, moved by her unbridled generosity by her sacrificial love and her, her heartfelt belief in, in a transforming grace of God. I went and, and shared this story with the, the guys at our Hope Center in our morning devotional. As I shared the story, as I passed this little bracelet around to them and, and shared her love for them and for this ministry, there was not a dry eye in the room. All of us had tears in our eyes and we're very grateful for her generosity. I've shared this story with a, a few other people and, and already some have begun to, to give. One said if this little girl's daddy comes to the Hope Center, he would cover the cost of his admission fee, which is $700. I began praying about that very thought and that gift and, and asked what what ways could we take this sacrificial gift, this gift of unbridled generosity from the heart of a little girl who loves her daddy but also wants to help a ministry that is helping others? And so I began to say, Lord, how can we use this gift to get more than the value of this gift? She pointed out the little diamonds on the front of the bracelet and, and she said I know the diamonds aren't real but but I think it is gold and and maybe we can get some money for it I began to ask God how, how could we get the maximum benefit from this and so I felt the most important thing for us to do would be to share this story so here's what I'd love for you to do I'd love for you to share this story with someone else and if God lays it on your heart and, and you want to give to uh, this ministry, uh, we're going to provide a link below that you can, you can give to our scholarship fund to help men like these 13, men all across the United States, men in, in centers all over the world that are receiving the life-transforming grace of Jesus Christ. But would you pray? Would you pray for this little girl and her family? Would you pray for her dad, Bill, that God would work in his life and that he would hear the heart of a child that loves him?
and is willing to give her very best that others' lives might be transformed. 